Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, counting down. All right, here we go. So YouTube thumbnail, I'm gonna type in because there's already templates there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a template. I'm gonna click customize. Now, having some photography ahead of time is helpful. And so I'm going to uh, grab a picture of myself. There we are, okay, great. I'm gonna go edit photo here and I'm going to say remove background. Now the photo has to fully load, there it is. Now I'm able to remove the background. I'm gonna delete this guy. I don't think by anybody matters. I'm gonna delete the by bricks, whoever that person's name is, and I'm gonna focus on the text I already have. All right, great. Now I'm going to uh, scale up old Sean here, and uh, that's pretty good. Now over here, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna say 2024, updates because let's assume this video is something about 20 by the way when it's a new year why not make content that in your niche that educates people about uh you know what are the new updates in your niche or whatever and then i'm going to go over here to like elements and type in youtube to see if i can get a youtube logo of some kind and then i'm going to grab that holy giant logo I'm gonna change it to this one because I got really uncomfortable with the size of that logo. All right, and uh, let's say share, uh, download, uh, make it a little bit bigger here, why not? Compress lower quality, why do you do that, Sean? I don't know, bigger resolution, but small file size. Exporting, exporting, downloading, downloading. Oh, come on, Canva, come on, internet. I only have 17 seconds left. All right, let's go over to my uh, download folder here or open the actual file. And coming in with eight seconds to spare, we've got a thumbnail. I might've been the fastest time. I actually never have actually done it in two minutes. So come on, give it up in the chat. Some mistakes people make on thumbnails is they do too much text. See it all the time. There's like 50 words, small text, big text, logos. Notice I have two words, 2024 updates and one logo. So keep it simple. Sometimes repeating the title and the, uh, and the text in the thumbnail. So I'm gonna say 2024 updates. My title might be six trends you need to know on YouTube this year. So it's two different things and they're gonna work together. And then busy and confusing. Notice that the thumbnail that I created intentionally was also very simple. And so I want it to be uh, simple, just minimal words, um, and one of the tips would be if you got some photos ahead of time, that was a, a photo that we took, uh, when I was shooting. Also, there's a cool website called thumbs up TV, and you could just check that out later. What it allows you to do is just upload your thumbnail and title and see how it looks big, small, mobile, tiny, super tiny, because that's one reason you notice, like I zoom in the images. I don't want to be super zoomed out if you're going to be on mobile you um, want to cut probably make everything bigger than it you typically would think now i will never forget this is about a 10 year 13 year old thumbnail and this is me breaking every rule notice there's little sean young sean on the right side of the screen there um there's a zillion words what am i even looking at there's hashtags like what sean, what did we do why is there hashtags um, and this was what not to do. Uh, and, and there's way too much going on there. If you fast forward to today on some of the think media videos we're making, what, what will you notice? Notice the camera only no words on the upper row there. Notice Omar's video where it says video podcast setup. It's just three words, some yellow arrows. Notice that if possible, we just use a red arrow and what we're pointing to. Um, and so some of the best practices are applied here and you can think about how you could do that for your thumbnails. This is another thumbnail I quickly designed on Canva and it was kind of like a video about my advice for Christian content creators. And so I was trying to kind of think of a hook, like how, what do I say in the thumbnail? As brief as I could be is like God question mark. I threw the cross emoji, used a photo that I had through some clouds behind me. So again, Canva could be pretty powerful. There's definitely other design tools. In fact, this is a community. So drop any of your favorite tools that maybe you like to use. I grew up using Photoshop and now I use Canva because it's just so fast. Um, and then if, at Think Media, we have um, grown the team and we have other people doing thumbnails now. Uh, but I wanted to prove to you that again, as a solo creator, this is possible. This is figure outable you can learn these skill sets. And just as a reminder, uh, we just opened up enrollment to our challenge offer for Video Ranking Academy and 
our YouTube roadmap workshop, which is brand new. That was recorded last month to really help you with your strategy and your plan for 2024 and all of this different stuff. But one of the most powerful aspects of Video Ranking Academy is the community. And in our private Facebook group, we have what's called the Never Fall Off Accountability System, where every week there's prompts to share your video ideas and share your thumbnails. And what you're gonna discover is there's a community that will pick your thumbnails apart, give you advice to say, I tweak this, change this. So the information inside of this program is very valuable, but what's priceless is community, is having other ambitious people that are leveling up their skills, people that can give you feedback. It's truly priceless because sometimes it can be so lonely being a content creator and you're just wondering, could somebody, you know, help me see what I can't see myself? It's the power of coaching to help you see your blind spots. You can't actually see your golf swing form. You have somebody else looking at it. It's like, oh, uh, you, you tweak this, tweak your shoulder positioning, tweak that because someone's outside perspective. And so uh, congratulations to everyone that's jumped in at vrafam.com. And there's a little bit of time left to get in so you can get video success secrets. So definitely let us know if you have any questions.